Hey guys, Chris from Adapt Tuition here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question 7 from the Jan 2012 PUA paper 2. If you want to see the solutions to the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and a link in the description below. So be sure to check those out as well. And with that said, let's get into the question. Okay, so we are told to read the following passage and answer the questions that follow. So we have a passage, a passage. Right, Jerome Perkins is a manager of a company. He is paid monthly. For the month of December 2011, he earns his regular monthly pay of $7,500 plus $5,000 from his company's annual profit. Each month, at his request, the company sends $400 to his credit union. As required by the government, the company takes $150 for the month for national insurance. Each month, the company pays $750 towards Jerome's retirement. Now, the instructions say, identify the specific term used to describe each of the following in relation to Jerome Perkins's circumstances. Okay, so we have a few things here. So it says monthly pay, additional earnings paid out of company profits, contribution to the credit union requested by employee, contribution to national insurance required by the government, and regular amounts paid to employees when they have retired. Okay, so let's pull up my little solution set across here. So for the first item, monthly pay, that's simply salary, monthly earnings or monthly salary. Then additional earnings paid out of company profits, that's a bonus or profit share. The contribution to the credit union requested by the employee, that's a voluntary deduction. The contribution to national insurance required by the government is a statutory deduction and regular amounts paid to employees when they have retired, that's the pension. Okay, let's take a look at part B. Okay, so it says that David Aliff is employed as a technician with a manufacturing company. His regular pay is $20 per hour. The regular work week is 40 hours. Overtime is paid at time and a half. It goes on to say the following deductions are made. So we have national insurance, 4% of gross earnings, Pension contribution, 10% of gross earnings. And it then tells us that income tax is charged as follows. Taxable pay. So the first 500 of taxable pay, the tax rate is 0%. So on the first 500 of your income, <laughs> you have no tax to pay. Then over 500, you have 25%. So on the remainder above the 500 of taxable pay, you pay 25%. Now, of course, this will all make a bit more sense when I show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now, it says that David worked 55 hours in a particular week. On the pay slip provided as an insert, calculate David's net earnings for the week. Show your working, 15 marks. Okay, so I'm just going to flip across real quick to show you the format that they gave you. All right, so this was the format. So particulars, you have the details here, normal hours worked, normal pay rate, normal earnings. Then you had overtime hours worked, overtime pay rate, overtime earnings. So then you, they have your workings here. You had add these two over the two earnings to get your gross earnings. Then you have your deductions. And you have total deductions by adding up those two items and taxable earnings. Now they give you some room here because they have some calculations to do here. And you have income tax, which is charged at 25% on taxable earnings. And then you have your net earnings, which is your gross pay minus the deductions and your tax. Okay, now let's go back to the information in the question and let's start populating the, well, this stuff here so we can see the solution. Okay, so in the information, they tell us that David worked 55 hours in a particular week. But the top here, they tell us that the regular work week is, 20, is 40 hours and the regular pay is $20 per hour. So we're going to start off with the regular pay, right? So the normal hours worked or regular hours worked is 40 hours because he worked 55 out of which 40 is normal or regular and the regular pay or normal period is $20 per hour. So you're simply going to multiply those two figures to get $800 and that's his normal earnings. Now the overtime, remember like I said, he worked 55 hours in the week, 40 of which were regular or normal hours. The remainder or excess, if you want to call it that, of the hours worked above 40 that's the overtime, the extra he worked above 40 hours per week. So he worked 55 hours. So when you subtract 40 from 55, you get 15 hours overtime. Now your overtime pay, so it does tell us in the question here that overtime is paid at time and a half. What does that mean? Time and a half means one and a half times your regular pay rate of $20 per hour. So we're going to take 20 and multiply by 1.5. 
1.5 being time and a half, that gives us $30 per hour, which is the overtime pay rate. 15 by 30 will give us 450. And when we add the two earnings figures, we get the gross earnings. Now we have the deductions. Now we have two sets of deductions. We have national insurance, which is 4% of gross earnings and pension contribution, which is 10% of gross earnings. So we are just going to put those in, right? $50 there, pension is 125. Okay, cool. So 4% of gross. So 4% of 1250 was the 50 and 10% of the 1250 was the 125. Adding those two together gives us 175. Now we have to find taxable earnings. So you're seeing 575, how do we get that? We took the earnings of 1250, the gross earnings 1250, we subtracted the deductions of 175 and we also subtracted the 500. Now where did that 500 come from? So if you remember, they gave us a bit of an income tax scheme. So the first 500 of your pay, right, is taxed at 0% and the remainder of the income is taxed at 25%. So what we're going to do from there now is simply find 25% of the taxable earnings. That's going to give us 143.75. And the net earnings, the amount that David gets to take home, will be the 12.50 minus the 175 and also minus the 143.75. And that's going to give us $931.25. And you can see the little working here, $12.50 minus the deductions of $175 and minus income tax of $143.75. And that's it for this question. Okay, guys, so there you have it. That's the solution for question 7 from the Jan 2012 POA Paper 2. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you when I have a chance. If you want to check out any more videos, I'm going to put some cards up here. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to check out my website where you'll find some pretty useful PUA handouts. Anyway, guys, as per usual, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye.